Everyone has their own style of camping. Most people have an enjoyable time that they will cherish for years, but for a small percentage of campers, absolute horror is what they find. Here are just some of their documented experiences. Number 14. Athlete Chad is finishing up a camping trip with his family in Rexburg, Idaho. When he notices a large bear approaching his motorhome without fear, soon it rears up on its hind legs to get a better look at what's inside the camper. Oh yeah. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey. Oh, no, he's God. fighting the thing down! Hey, hey, no! He's taking the bear with me! No, he'll drink the bear! The YouTuber and his family manage to get away unharmed but the teeth marks on their side view mirror will always remind them they came face to face with a wild animal in the woods. Number 13. This video is from a camping trip that Emery Buckner and his friends took back in 2010. After introducing each of his friends by name, something catches Emery's eye. He zooms in on a small clearing in the woods that's just up ahead, and that's when he sees it for the first time. Guys, what is that? What's what, brother? Seriously, guys. There's hey, something really, I seriously saw something over there. Tom? None of his friends managed to see it, but Emery encourages them to stay still and keep looking. Then, sure enough, the red glowing eyes return. Guys? What? Oh my gosh. What is that? That's it. That's it. I t oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Uh, oh my gosh. What is it? They waste little time retreating to their boat and speed away to safety. But just before they take off, Emery catches the creature a final time. It's now casually observing the group. While perched in a tree, its head cocked to the side, its faint outline barely visible behind a pair of glowing red eyes. Number 12. Hina Tahir and her sister are camping in New Jersey's Double Trouble State Park when they notice a strange woman who is half submerged in a local lake. Her clothes are all white, and she has a serious expression on her face as she sways in place. To this very day, the two girls aren't sure if what they recorded was a live person or a ghost. If it was a person, then I have absolutely no idea why they would be in the water. Well, fully clothed, and if it was a ghost, then maybe her body is lurking in the shadow waters below. Whatever the case may be, Hina and her sister decide to leave the woman in peace and dare not go any closer. Number 11. A soft rain falls in the desert and sends all sorts of creatures scurrying for cover, including this unwanted guest. Watch this part and be sure to translate what they are saying here if you can understand. You know what, Mitch? A giant upside down scorpion makes its way across the top of his tent towards the camera with its arms open and pinchers extended. It looks highly aggressive and possibly poisonous, but any help identifying its exact classification and behavioral traits would be appreciated. Number 10. These friends are too busy gathering around a campfire to notice something is scampering behind them. Well, you've been sharpening it for like two hours. Just out of reach, watch it again. Well, you've been sharpening it for like two hours. The furless creature moves on all fours in an unnatural way that resembles no forest animal I've ever seen before. If it's not computer-generated imagery, then perhaps this is footage of the rake or some other forest beast. Number 9. Jeff Kessler is camping in the middle of nowhere, all by himself when a low rumbling noise jolts him awake. It's coming from just outside his tent. He bravely investigates the perimeter of his campsite, armed with only a flashlight. After some searching, he finally comes across the creature that woke him up a few minutes earlier. It appears to be an oddly shaped humanoid creature with broad hips and shoulders, but skinny limbs and a narrow head. 
Jeff only briefly catches it on camera before turning to run. Apparently, park rangers found his camera under this heavy and mysterious structure of bundled trees, but no signs of Jeff himself. I could find no news articles to verify this story as real, so it could just be an art project. Then again, or maybe it was even a cover up. Let me know what you think. Number 8. A YouTuber named Eleven Makeda and their friends are camping in the backyard when they completely lose control of their bonfire. First, they try to put out the blaze with a simple garden hose. When that doesn't work, they try to smother the fire with dirt using shovels. Meanwhile, the flames grow taller and hotter as the fire spreads outwards, threatening to reach a house that's only a short distance away. Also, if it reaches the cornfield behind them, then the fire could quickly cover acres of land. The short 5 minute video ends before we get a chance to see what happens next. Hopefully they did the right thing and called for firefighters to put an end to the backyard inferno. Otherwise, if they were too afraid of getting in trouble and continued to try and contain it themselves, then it might very have cost somebody their home. Number 7 this video was supposedly taken somewhere in Arizona in 1997. It was later found in an abandoned police station according to the description. The large group is walking towards a bright light in the horizon, and it almost looks as if there has recently been a large crash. As they get closer, this alien looking creature emerges and takes a few steps before noticing their presence. A giant beam of light bursts from its chest and the group runs off before we can see what happens next. I'm not sure if this was a costume or not. I wish we got a closer look at the alien, but from this distance, I'd say there is a possibility that this video could be real. Number 6 lived here for going on seven years. I walked a hundred miles through these woods. Never seen that shape before right there. That's the reaction of James Jones after finding a strange human silhouette standing motionless in the Tennessee forest. What's especially perplexing is how James should be close enough to see the person's facial features, yet their entire visage is shrouded in darkness. Not a broken tree or whatever. I don't know. It looks like it's connected right there, but it's not. I've been over there a thousand times. Even if this was a tree, there's not much of a reason for it to be completely dark instead of the same color as every other tree around. It almost looks like the figure is wearing a colonial style hat. Maybe it's the spirit of a soldier from the Revolutionary War, or maybe they were a soldier in the Civil War. Let me know what you think it was, and if you think James was in any trouble on that day. Number 5 This is one of the more popular videos that many people feel. is clear evidence of Bigfoot. The video looks a little too blurry for me to be sure, but I don't recognize this scene from any movie or television series so it could very well be real. If it is real, however, my only question is why this 5 second clip is so short. Maybe this person became afraid for their life, went spotted, and abruptly ran for cover. Number 4 Something has been lurking outside of this YouTuber's tent. Since 2 in the morning, now it's 6.15 am and the creature is more interested in getting inside more than ever. The cameraman timidly peeks out from his tent and spots a tall, muscular lion pacing back and forth. It seems particularly interested in the tent across from them, which fortunately is uninhabited. Eventually, the lion gains access to the adjacent tent and raids it for supplies. I'm not sure if he found anything or not, but eventually the lion walks off a short while later. I have little doubt that he could smell these humans and knew he was on the other side the entire time, but I guess the lion wasn't sure. 
if he was a formidable opponent or not and ultimately decided to leave him alone. The man breathes a sigh of relief and quickly packs up. Number 3 a YouTuber named Chevalier Epstein has heard rumors of an old haunted campground that he wanted to explore at the end of a dusty, forgotten path. He finds some small buildings that are in relatively good shape for being abandoned. Still, the whole situation looks creepy even from the outside on a bright and sunny day. When they go inside, they find it's been covered in graffiti and feel strangely unwelcoming, so they don't stay for long. Chevalier decides to turn around and take one last look at the campsite before leaving. Apparently, something was taking one last look at him as well. What? That door just creaked open. Oh! Their attention is still fixated on the open door when something much closer makes a noise nearby. I guess it could have been a mouse knocking something over or something like that, but the timing was a little too much of a coincidence for me not to include it on this list. Let me know if you think they really saw the door open by itself or if this was all set up. Number 2. A group of Bigfoot hunters are searching for clues deep in the woods when they come across something ominous glowing in the clear night sky. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. See? Oh. Three. And in a different position. Three orbs appear to form a mysterious triangular pattern off in the distance. Every once in a while, the light on top gets extremely bright and then fades away. They can't figure out what these lights are, and I'm not quite sure either. Tell me if you think this was an alien sighting, or maybe even some sort of experimental aircraft. All I know is that if these bizarre lights really are a regular occurrence around these woods, then maybe the idea of Bigfoot isn't so far-fetched after all. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you don't, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Also, follow me on Twitter at YT underscore chills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new video I upload every Thursday. Number one. While walking in the forest, a man came across a patch of land that literally moved on its own. All he could do was catch the scene on video in stunned amazement. He even live streamed the event from Facebook to prove that this was happening in real time without any special effects. It only seemed to be happening in one spot the entire time, centered around one tree in particular. I know that technically this shouldn't be possible, but it really does look like the forest is alive and breathing on its own. If you have any scientific explanation as to how this occurs, please let me know. Otherwise, this video opens all sorts of questions as to what happens in the deepest corners of the wilderness when no one is around. The following YouTubers have made startling discoveries, some of which create more questions than answers. 